Okay, in this video what we're going to do is get everything imported and hopefully up and running. Okay, so what we're going to do first is, as you can see here, I've got Weapon Dav Shock and I've got CHDC Arms. No, nope, wrong one. Dav Arms. Okay, that's one that I was testing a while ago. I don't know what all this rubbish is here for. Don't touch it too often. Anyway, what I've basically done so far is just created the packages and got the materials imported ready to roll. So our first thing we're going to do is import the, the shock weapon. Uh, obviously we have to go and find it uh, as per normal. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, UT3 tutorials, exports. No. Right, uh, SKWP shock. Okay. Uh, put this in mesh. Click, hit return, don't do anything, and go like that. Okay. Now, we've got the shot rifle. Alright. Now, if you by chance have been following my videos, which hopefully you have been before you get to here, and you import it exactly, if you do exactly what I did, what you might find is that you've got more than one materials. All you need to do is go back into Max, uh, set your materials to one material, and re export it. Okay, and it's the same with the arms. So I'm not going to go back and do that on video and just warn you off on that. Alright, materials, select the materials, back in here, green arrow, apply material, and there we go, a lovely little blue and red shock rifle. Now, do we need to do anything else on here? Uh, actually, we do, because what we need is the sockets. Now, at the moment, we've got no sockets. And I can't do my usual trick of uh, copy and paste because I don't have the same bold names. Okay, so what we're going to do is... I forgot to open context. File. Recent files. Uh, I can't see it. Uh, there we go. Shock rifle and recent files. There we go. Right, all I'm going to do is take the muzzle flash socket, copy, new socket, shot fire, shot fire, and there we go. Now, if anybody's being quite clever here and notice I'm looking at the UT attachment and the other bit you'll find, think, well, why is he doing, taking both muzzle flash sockets from the code, from both types of the code, for the one mesh? Very simple. I'm going to use the same mesh for the first and the third person view. Okay, because I'm lazy. Okay, that's the sockets done. Sockets on, material on. Anything else on there at the at this moment? No. Okay. So I'll just go back there and save. Just to be on the safe side. Now in Dav Arms. Now you might think why are you doing this? It wouldn't it be better to put it into the characters actual package, things like that. Yes, you could, but they didn't do that in UT3, so I'm not going to do it in this. I'm going to make a have a completely set different package. Okay, I don't know whether it's something to do with back, we're loading onto the PS3, keeping the package sizes small or more compact. Might even be a memory thing, so anyway, let's go load in the arms. Put that onto mesh as well. Hit return, press OK. And the same again here. 
if for whatever reason when you pull this in or import it and you've got more than one material you'll have to go back into max reset it as to be select all the polygons put it onto one material and you should be fine okay something i actually forgot to do in the uh, export so i'll just select select the material back in here press the green arrow you selected object in content browser and as you can see although it's all highlighted we've now got the material applied to these arms do we need to do anything else with this package well we need to save it <laughs> okay save and if that that actually updates now so you can see that okay so what do we need to do now well what we need to do is import the animations now for this believe it or not the way that it was done in UT3 which is the way I'm going to show you is that the animation sets all right, for the arms and for the weapon go into the weapon package that way everything's organized okay so he says so what we're going to do first is in up dav shock we're going to right click on the skeletal mesh of the weapon i'm going to create new anim set from mesh all right i'm going to put this in anims subfolder all right name Okay. Oh, in fact, uh, base. Now, the reason why I do this is so that we can easily see later what the which animations watch. Now, this is something I want to show you or point out when we exported the weapon. The, we exported it at zero zero zero, and that's where it is when we look at before we apply any of the animations. Okay, so what we do now, as you can see up here, your Unreal Anim Set Editor, set, same one as if you open the, a skeletal mesh. All right, but we actually we have actually got the uh, the package KWP Shock Base. Okay. I keep saying OK, sorry. Right, now we go on to File and Import PSA. Now, yet again, go on Hunting. Sometimes it does actually save your location. No, not the Enforcers. There we go. Shock Anim, see, Shock Anim PSA. OK open that now you can see straight away that the uh, the mesh has actually moved yeah so if i click on the anim tab you'll see there the alt fire and it does move not a great deal but it does we'll show, show the equip there you go up and down up and down now this isn't going to look very good in game i know but We'll see how it goes, just to get the workflow correct. Okay, so that's for, that's for the weapon. Now, again, save. You might you might think, yeah, what, why is he saving? Uh, unfortunately, I have had one or two crashes. The last time I tried to do this video, it crashed on me. But uh, we'll have to go with that. Right, the next thing, what we're going to do is go back into the arms package now very carefully listen to what i'm saying here all right in the arm package right click on your skeletal mesh new anim set from mesh but instead of putting it in the pack that package what we're going to put it in is if i can find it uh it should be down here somewhere shouldn't it under wp Dab shock. All right. Anims. 
and uh, oh, what was the name? Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. K W P shop. Oh, we can change the name in in a minute if I need to. Shock. Can't spell. Shock. Arms. Because the other one was base. Uh, for some reason, this never got takes the capitals for me. Anyway, click on OK. Now you might think, why is he doing it this way? For the simple reason, when you import a PSA, it's trying to compare the the bone set with the, what's coming in on the animation. Okay, so to stop any other trouble when importing the animation, make sure you've got the correct skeletal mesh selected for it. So here we go, import. Right, this time we want the arms. Open, and there you go, straight away. You see that? Very nice. Oh look, I missed a finger on me. Uh, okay, <laughs> on me texture. So as you can see here, all right, we'll go on to the equip one because that actually you see a bit more. Now what have I done wrong there? I think. Yeah, what have I done wrong there? He, oh, it seems to be giving okay. Or is it just that thumb? Either I've got the skinning wrong on it. Oh, the skinning should, should be okay. Let's have a look at one of the other ones. Seems to be a bit strange there on that bone. So what I forgot is that and in rotation only. When we ex when we bait down the animation, we had uh, position and rotation ticked. Okay, so we may, if I untick that, warning this will will be broken in game. Weapon at idle needs to be compress raw animation data. I haven't got a clue. You do it up here. I haven't got a clue. So the easiest way I do is just go import arms, open, yes to all. And it probably doesn't make a slightest bit of difference to this animation because for some reason the, the thumb is still a bit squiffy. But we'll live with that. Okay, so that's how you import. Well, let me just have a put down. Now, I don't actually know why that left hand thumb is not playing properly. I think we've had, prob we had problems with in UT3 with that thumb, to be honest, if we remember rightly. But uh, that's basically the workflow. We go out, and you see, we've actually saved it. We got that name correctly. A, hey, I'm good, aren't I? Okay, save that out. So, uh, as soon as we click on that, it's actually going to load that mesh. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do in this video. Yeah, in the next video, what we're going to do is actually look at what we need to get these arms up and running in game okay so i don't want to drag things out too much and make extremely long boring videos well you've got them anyway but that, that that's pretty much the workflow there just make sure that when you when you import your weapon don't forget the sockets when you import the animations you may have to untick the BU's ro anim rotation only box okay and it's advisable to put the arms animation in with the actual weapon package not with the arms package because in the end you will have more arms 
than, than just one set okay which is something I am going to try and do but I won't do that on video because I've already shown you how to do it okay but uh, we'll go from there and see how far we get okay so the next video is going to be in code and if we're really really good maybe testing as well okay then so I'll see you soon bye bye now I am learning